Coming off of last season and that win, that experience, the way the team grew, those final moments as the clock was ticking down, we will reflect on it and remember it and use it as motivation. But once we step foot on the field, close the book, focus on this season and only use it as motivation in terms of doing it again. Even though last season was magical and beautiful and um, you know, one of the craziest stories ever. We are into the road. We've got number one and number two. There's something to be said for experience and the confidence that they've been here. What a finish to the field hockey season. Congrats to North Carolina. Wow. What, what, what a day for hockey, right? I mean, this is just uh, phenomenal. I mean, yeah, look at this. I don't know. Um, I mean, Northwestern, what a match, what a game. What can you ask for better in a national championship than sudden death shootouts? But I'm so proud of our girls. They're so happy they wanted it so badly. Incredible day, I'm speechless. We're gonna try to do it again and not get satisfied whatsoever. Carolina Field Hockey itself does such a good job at never allowing us to be satisfied. Each day at practice, it's always reiterated that what we brought, yes, might be good, but we can always be better. And I think that's what helped us in the past and what is continuing to help us keep that hunger. Knowing that each season, it's not guaranteed. You have to earn it each season. And I think my four years here, each team has had to fight for something different, but the highs and lows is what makes you appreciate the sport so much more. We are itching to get back out there. <laughs>I was super excited to get back to Chapel Hill. This is my fifth time around. So I think it also is a little sentimental at the same time, just because I know this is my last time. So exciting the first time, getting ready for the run test, and it kind of brought back the emotions from last season, but each season is a new season, so we're ready to get started together. It's our last, last double session, actually mine ever. Isn't that sad? Wow. We're just really excited. You can tell they are ready. getting back to the basics. Technical skills will always be important. I want us to be the best passers, receivers, eliminators. I need everybody to be the best in the country at that. And then if we can do that and pass better than other teams and receive better than other teams and just do all of the basics at a different level, then we are able to think more tactically how we can be more efficient on the field and that standard for excellence that everyone knows is there. And if you're the one slacking, you know it. And I think holding people to those standards on the field, I think is something that as a leader, I'm really looking to do this fall, just through actions, but also through words and the way you communicate to different teammates um, makes an impact. We talk a lot about like, not only saying what we're gonna do, but kind of showing it through our actions. So I think on the field, sprinting a little harder or going for a ball or making that extra run or even yep. doing the drill back again just to make sure that you get it right. And those little actions are what show in our results. We want to be more organized. We want to be more efficient. We want to communicate better, not necessarily different. Ultimately, a cleaner game of hockey and a more exciting game of hockey rather than a choppy one. Being ready is not only mentally, but physically and emotionally and off the field, doing all of the little things right, because that ultimately sets us up to be overall athletes and be able to put our best selves on the field. She's later to tackle back. Then the midfielder has to step, and then next thing we know, we're doing more work where we would have prepared earlier, and we didn't jump, and we delayed. Maybe they weren't in the circle. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Change is an interesting word. 
I would say nothing that we're going to change. Evolution kind of encompasses what we try to do because the overarching theme of just trying to evolve and chase excellence and continue to push the limit, our defense is going to be super key. We're obviously, you know, gonna have to put people in new positions and I think that is a strength of ours where we have people who can play different positions and that helps us evolve as a team. We're not necessarily changing anything, we're just making it better. Scrimmage in the book. Really, really, really proud of our team defense. I think defense was phenomenal all the way from the actual defenders to the midfielders to the forwards back tackling. I thought the defense stuck out well. Attack, we're gonna work on. We are still hungry and we just want to make everyone proud and excited as much as we are for the upcoming season. There's a, an atmosphere here that's looming of, all right, the, the countdown is on. It was on three, one, two, three.